some nodes that come up here are the retweets of his original tweet. And then you can see it kind of goes through some other people and they retweet on. Um, and you get another little firework explosion until you get down to this guy. Anybody know who Brian Stelter is? He's, uh, he was a very famous media blogger. I can't remember the name of his blog right now, but he's the, the main media blogger and reporter for the New York Times now, nowadays. Then he tweet, retweeted it, and then it explodes again. So this was actually done, I think, by one of these social, um, uh, social media analytics companies, I think called Social Flow in New York, just to kind of illustrate the possibilities. Uh, they have a blog which does this type of thing. Um, but Node Excel, another really cool thing about it is it has baked in some uh, mechanisms to uh, query the APIs of certain online social media. So even if you know, that isn't your thing, you, you, you know, you're not comfortable going to the Twitter API and pulling out a, a, a tweets on a particular search term, for instance, Node Excel will do it for you. So you can import from Flickr, from Twitter, uh, so you can import on Twitter users and look at their followers. You can import on search network, which is what I'm going to show you here. So, I mean, so when you do that, you get this little dialog box. So here I am searching for GOP, might be quite topical at the moment. Um, I can choose the relationships I want to look at in this network. So I can have follows, or I can get rid of those, or I can just have replies or I can have mentions. I think mentions include retweets. Um, this is quite important. Um, if you don't have a Twitter account, it's pretty limited what you can pull in. Um, you do want to authorize it, uh, which is something you need to do. And if you really want to do this big time, I think you may need to get whitelisted by Twitter so that you won't keep hitting the right limits on their API. Um, now, this is something we did just to kind of have a bit of fun and illustrate it. I'm not claiming for one minute that this is a sophisticated um, and decisive analysis of Occupy versus Occupy Wall Street versus the Tea Party, but in mid-November, so I think the analysis were done on the 15th of November, which I believe is the date that the authorities in New York cleared to Cutty Park. If it wasn't the date, it was very close to it. And we worked actually with the developers of Node Excel to, to do this. Uh, so the guy who actually did the analysis was, uh, he's called Mark Smith. He's one of the developers of the program. And we were just kind of interested in the idea on it. This was on our technology blog, which unfortunately we called 1%, which wasn't really good at the time. <laughs> we, we called, our blog is called 1%, and it's supposed to be innovation is 1% uh, inspiration and 99% perspiration, but it's kind of become a bit of an unfortunate title, particularly <laughs> with regard to this story. But anyway, we were interested in this idea, you know, is so is Occupy the left answer to the Tea Party, you know, is it the same sort of thing, it's all about anger about elites. I mean, I didn't really think it was, but we said, well, okay, we'll just kind of look at the discussion on Twitter around them and see what they look like. So this is what they look like. This is um, a Node Excel visualization of, um, on the search term, Occupy Wall Street, uh, and that would include the hashtag as well. Um, and so what's going on here? Well, blue are retweets, mentions, replies. So there's active conversation going on there on the edges. Gray are just follows relationships. Um, and and the, one of these clustering algorithms I told you about has been applied to color them up. So you'll see you've got these boom, boom, boom of, of uh, retweets going on. This was, it pulled in about 1,500. So if you do a query, it'll pull in about 1,500 tweets. Um, and on this day, that was a, that was about an hour. So no, less no, it's less than I think it was 28 minutes, less than half an hour's time to pull that uh, that was captured in that. And it turns out that these little clusters, so the turquoise one.